I'd like us to think about our green family values. I'd like to get them into your head. And I want you to think about when you have seen those values happening within your class. So you don't need to tell me about them. I want you to think from Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and this morning, when have you seen Pack Polite happening? When have you seen maybe lots of new listens? When have you seen lots of Wesley Works hard? And today's assembly is about celebrating all our Green Family values from each class. So we're going to get started with our barn owls. And the person in our barn owls class who has achieved their superhero certificate, they have achieved this for Wesley works hard, and when I read the next bit, there'll be a little clue to who this person is who's achieved it. This person has only just joined our school this week, and this person has achieved their Wesley works hard. And I'm trying to find them in the line. I'm looking for where is Thomas? Not here. Oh, We'll have to make sure he gets that on Monday. I'll put that to one side. Let's have a look at our hedgehog class. Our hedgehog class is another Wesley works hard. So this is somebody who not has worked hard just in one lesson, but they have spent all week trying their best and showing their grown-ups and their class friends Wesley works hard skills. And that is Anastasia, well done. <laughs> and it is another Wesley works hard for the squirrels class. So this is another person who has shown all of their grown-ups not just one lesson of working hard in their maths, but every time they are doing their maths lessons and doing their English lessons, they are showing their grown-ups and their friends their Wesley Works hard skill. And that person for this week is so faithful. <laughs> their own in their phonics lesson 
And that person is Arthur. Well done, Arthur. Now, on to our head job class. This person has achieved their star of the week for taking a real interest in their new topic of this half term and asking some very interesting questions by using their what questions, their how questions, their why questions. And that person is Eastern. Well done. <laughs> On Squirrels class, the person who has achieved their style of the week has clearly been practicing their handwriting because their grown-ups in the class have noted that their handwriting has improved and they are forming all of their letters correctly and neatly sitting them on the line. And that person is Skylar Wellman. <laughs> Which line is showing me Parker Polite? Blue <laughs> line. Very impressive. The lights are looking fantastic. On to our badges class. This person, and I know this person has worked really hard on this to show resilience. So when things are a little bit tricky and they find things a little bit difficult, they have shown real resilience to keep trying and trying. And especially this week, with writing about a character in their English lesson. And that person is Pei. Well done, Pei. Can we give all our stars a good I'm not sure how we have only been in the building four days and we have got this many improved readers. So we'll do our usual, hands under our bottoms, and we'll say the clap to the very end. We're going to start with head job class. And Blake, up to the front, improved reader. On to our squirrels class, Eva, up to the front, improved reader. Eva, up to the front, Improved reader. Harrison up to the front, another improved reader. On to badges, Ali are up to the front, an improved reader. Cody up to the front, an improved reader. Clara up to the front, an improved reader. Amelia, up to the front, an improved reader. I can see why everybody's been doing over the half-term holiday to have so many improved readers. Tiana, up to the front, improved reader. And Samuel, improved reader, up to the front. Now I am so impressed to have so many improved readers this week. Can we give all of the <laughs> We've got three sporting achievements, and they are all from the squirrels class. So once again, hands under your bottoms, and we will celebrate the sporting achievements of Sophie up to the front. Eliza up to the front. And I will end up to the front. Right now, so fair. I feel like you're up every single week for an achievement from your sporting event. Do you want to tell everybody what you've achieved again? You've been on. 
I saw your medals and your photograph will be going into our book if it hasn't already gone in. And our book is filling up very nicely with all our sporting heroes. Now, would you like to tell everybody how you got a sister card? So you've achieved working on the bar in your gymnastics. Fantastic. That definitely deserves to be in our song. Dear brilliant. Hi, well, what have you achieved? Yes, go to the bottom, go to that and So you had to go down, and was the, the object quite heavy that you had to bring up? No, it was quite light. And when you went down, did you wear your goggles? Or did you, so you had to have your eyes open when you went down to get that object. That is a real achievement. So I look forward to your picture going into our book. How many of our sporting achievements have last year? Now we are on to our final bit of our assembly, and it is our attendance. We only had four days because we weren't at school on the Monday, and there was one clear winner, one clear winner who has achieved their attendance. This class had 100%. That means nobody's been off this week. Nobody's been super, super late this week. They've been on time and they've been in every single day. And the winners for the attendance this week, the class that has achieved it. 